So, you're presenting at Amy 2012. Perhaps a paper, perhaps a poster. One of the things you will want to do is to have your contact details displayed, whether it's for a presentation or for a poster. The requirement is the same. A reason for displaying your contact details is networking, ensuring that other conference delegates interested in the topic can get in touch with you. And so, delegates scribble down your contact details and make mistakes. But you know that delegates are using smartphones and can store contact details in their smartphones. But even when typing, delegates make mistakes and don't always capture your contact details accurately. So, wouldn't it be great if there was some way for the contact details to magically be captured into the delegates' phones? Well, there is, and this video will explain how. QR codes for presenters, what they are and how to use them. So, what is a QR code? This is a QR code. A QR code is similar to a barcode. The barcode can be scanned and the barcode can be converted into usable information. A QR code works in much the same way. It just looks a little different. And it can hold quite a bit more information, like up to 160 characters of free text. Or, as we want, our contact information. A QR code can be read by software on a smartphone. How exactly that is done is covered in the next video, QR Codes for Delegates. For now, we will concentrate on generating a QR code. So, now that you know what QR codes are, let's have a look at generating one. First, go to a website that allows you to generate a QR code. There are many such websites. In this example, we will use goqr.me, but you can use any such site. The steps on the other QR code generator sites will be very similar. Second, enter your text. In this case, the QR code is automatically generated as you type. Some sites may require the pressing of a button labeled Generate QR Code or something similar. This site has a download button. Remember that a QR code is simply a graphic image. If there is no download button, you can perform a screen capture and then save the image. While this QR code is useful for text, you will notice a shortcoming. If we wish to enter contact information, there would be nothing to tell the smartphone that this text is contact information. As a result, this information would be captured as pure text and would not be inserted into the smartphone's list of contacts. As a result, we wish to enter the contact details in a format that is more easily recognizable as contact information. There are several contact information formats. On this site, we use one called vCard. The advantage of using a proper format is that the smartphone software will be able to more easily place the information into the delegate's contact list. At this stage, once the QR code has been generated, you can simply download the image to your computer. Once your QR code is created and downloaded to your computer, you can use it in several ways. For example, if you're giving a live presentation, you can insert the QR code into the final slide so that it is displayed while you are taking questions. Experiments have shown that to have the best results, you should enlarge the code to fill at least three quarters of the screen. If you are creating a poster, then you can insert the QR code anywhere suitable into the poster, perhaps at the bottom right or perhaps at the top near your details. Experiments have shown that if the code fills a space of 2 cm by 2 cm, 
it will be clear enough to be read and won't take up too much space on the poster. The QR code is then read by the delegate smartphone. Because we use a recognizable format, the phone can easily recognize the code as a contact and insert the information into the contact list. In this example, we use the V-card format for the contact information. Another popular format is the Me card. The two different formats allow for different types of data. Also, some people have found that the Me card can be easier to read when small, which might be useful if you wish to save space on your poster. You may wish to experiment a little before settling on a format to use. QR codes can be used for a range of other functions, such as automatically accessing a website, placing a call, or sending an SMS. If you'd like more information on how QR codes are read, please see the second video in this series, QR Codes for Delegates, what they are and how to use them.